Hello, I'm Doug. This is a Measurement 101 page cast. Three minutes talking about a page on this website. In this case, the landing page. This is all about measurements of events in space time. We were raised on the idea of absolute space and absolute time not having any relationship to each other. That idea was actually due to Newton. Now, in 1905, Einstein proposed that space marry time to become space-time. And this is actually a hard marriage to understand even today. On this page, two stars go supernova. Uh, there goes one, <laughs> uh, followed by another. Okay, and we can measure that time if we've got ourselves a nice handy stopwatch. And since the stars are in different locations, we can also measure the distance between the two events. So together, these two types of measurements make up a difference in space-time. Four kids are watching all of this stuff go on. Now, each kid makes a different measurement of time and a different measurement of space, so long as these are absurdly accurate uh, devices they're carrying with them, and they're just not going to be the same. Now, on this website, I'm going to show you what the four kids can agree upon, and it involves squaring the values that they get from the time measurement and the space measurement. I am the reference observer, as you can tell from the outfit. The reference is really with the things causing the events themselves. And so no motion, just at the same place in the gravity field. And I'm going to actually ignore the kids from here on out. And just let's focus on the center. But, like, <laughs> what does one do with measurements anyway? Well, I do something that's both simple and unusual. I square the difference between the events in space-time. Now, that's actually not a legal move using the standard accounting system of physics, which is called a tensor. What I use is a type of math called a quaternion, where squaring of events in space-time is uh, perfectly A-OK. -okay. So, this dt squared minus dr squared is called the interval. Now, I like to actually make things really concrete, and so I made up some numbers. <laughs> I said, well, that time, let's call it like 5, okay? That time dt. And let's say a 3 for the space difference of dr. So the interval becomes 5 squared, 25, minus 3 squared, 9 equals 16. The other term, it's a 2dt dr, uh, doesn't even have a name in standard physics. I had to make one up, so I called it space times time. Maybe I should have called it times times space, but it doesn't matter. It's 2 times 3 times 5, 30. Now, the walkers agree about the interval. And that's the physics of special relativity that Einstein developed in 1905. The above and the below kids, they agree on space times time. Or at least that's my new proposal that I call quaternion gravity. And that's it for this page cast. Thank you.